My name is Jyothi Gaspansky and this is my story. Um, when I was three years old, my birth parents murdered my baby brother. Um, this was in Plano. Um, we were in a store uh, checking out baby supplies with my birth dad. Um, when my birth mom called and said, help, help, like the baby's been killed, come quick. Um, so I remember going back to the apartment um, and finding my baby brother um, laying on the couch um, dead. And so uh, from that moment, I was put into foster care. Like the reason Ben Kelsoy was murdered was because um, his genitalia was uh, functional, but appearance was messed up. Um, and so in India, like being firstborn son is really important. And so over there, like if he had a deformity, then it's kind of like throw him out the window. And so them doing that was just crazy. Like, why would you ever do that? So then I moved in with the Gispanskis uh, and they took me to church, um, but I couldn't. Uh, being in foster care, you can't impose religion on a child, and so, um, you know, I was in nursery, so I heard, you know, Bible stories, that kind of thing, um, and I really feel like God had a hold of me then, um, but I was too young to, like, really say, like, put my faith in God, and then during that time, my birth mom was actually convicted of the crime, and it was a capital crime, so she was, um, she's in jail right now, 50 to life is her sentence. My birth father, they never uh, convicted him of anything, um, but they still thought I was unsafe with him um, and but then he also went to court and wanted me out of that home and I had stayed in that home for two and a half years and he wanted me to be in an Indian home so the, so the judge allowed that um, which is against the law to like racially discriminate like that and also the birth mother of that home was actually a principal of a Hindu school and so I was like deeply immersed into that religion um, just learning all about it and just always thinking like this doesn't make sense um, these gods don't make sense to me and feeling like there was something else out there um, about fourth grade I um, just was really depressed and was wanting to kill myself and so the counselor found out at school um, and so then CBS got back involved and that's where I um, was put back with the Gispanskis which doesn't really happen in the foster care system um, and coming back there um, I immediately started uh, going to church and reading the Bible um, and realizing that God could be my Heavenly Father when I didn't have a father on earth and that um, he could adopt me into his family and I didn't have a family on earth and that I was a sinner and Jesus died on the cross for me um, to save me. Um, I was finally adopted with the Gispanskis and I was one of the happiest days of my life. Um, they're really a great family and really have cared for me. And then the summer before freshman year of high school, um, I went to Falls Creek camp and I think we were doing like a missions thing and um, God literally spoke to me and he said, Jyothi, I love you. And I said, I love you too, God. And he said, you're Indian. And I kind of had to be like, okay, God. And see, up to this point, um, I was with the white family, so I felt why, I talked why. It was just everything not Indian culture. And so I just really disassociated myself from that culture and those people. Um, but then when God said that, it took me a second. And I was like, okay, God, yeah, I'm Indian. Um, and then he just said, um, and you need to go there and tell them about me. And that's all he said. And it took me a second again. And I realized, yeah, you're right, God. Like, how can I not say I love you giving me to them? I have to. Um, I got to go for the first time missionally back to India. Um, and that was really great experience. And um, I know God has called me there um, to live for some amount of time after I graduate um, and just serve and follow him.